Hi, I'm Alex from Stream and today I'm going to show you how to use our window roller blackout blind. We have decided to fit our blind quite far forward in the reveal. This is because we have a number of openers in our window behind and the handle on these openers protrudes past the framework. So setting the blind forward allows us to open each one of those independently. The framework of the blind is made from a powder coated aluminium and this cassette at the top contains the roll of blackout material which is attached at the bottom to this handlebar. To either side of our blind, we have a guide which is fitted to the side walls. The blind runs within this guide and the pile creates a seal to the side walls. To the bottom of our guide, we have a closing clip and this is adjustable so that you can ensure you get a seal to the windowsill. To close my blind, I simply pull the handlebar down either using the toggle, which is particularly useful if you have a very high window, or using the handlebars. The blind runs within the guides and at the bottom I tilt the handlebar forward underneath the clips. As you can see now the pile on the bottom of the handlebar is creating a seal with the windowsill. It's worth noting that the blackout material can be wiped with a damp cloth. To open my blind, I simply do everything in reverse. So tilt the handlebar backwards to release it from the clips and allow it to retract back up into the cassette. Now in our example, we've added a pair of intermediate clips into our guides and this allows us to leave the blind open at a predetermined height so that we can perhaps uh, just start the waking process or allow some fresh air into the room. When you wish to release it from the intermediate clip, again tilt backwards and allow the blind to fully retract. I hope you found this video helpful, but if you do have any questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch. We are more than happy to help. Thanks so much for watching.